system? Well, you know, Jesse Deco is the number one outdoor advertising in the world, uh, meaning that we have a, a very large asset base in more than 60 markets in the world, about one million assets. And what we're trying to do in this project is really to bring to the carers first the very high density of sites that we have in very dense urban areas. So, for example, in Paris, we have more than 2,000 bus shelters. Um, in Los Angeles, we have 3,000 bus shelters. In Bogota, 2,000 bus shelters. So really, in the heart of the city, a very large asset base, very dense, reaching a lot of people every day. So that's really the, the first point. The second point is that we have a large scale of assets. So basically, with Jesse Deco, you can reach very different markets, many different markets. You can reach, in one country, 10, 15, 20 cities, but you can also reach with one-stop shop at 10, 15, 20 markets. And the car is being truly international. Uh, I think for them it's a key advantage to only have one partner for this, uh, for this rollout. The, the third point, which is very important, basically is based on the essence of what Jesse Deco is. Jesse Deco is a partner for the municipalities and the uh, transport authorities, has been a partner for 50 years, and we're very well trusted. Uh, by the municipalities. They know that we deliver what, what our promises and we are, you know, we have a very long-standing track record of project management. That's what we do on a daily basis. We work on the street to provide a service and we really believe that this project is a service for the carers as well as for the municipalities and the transport authorities. So we really try to aggregate, uh, you know, all the different stakeholders to make sure that this project will actually emerge. Question. I think we cooperate very well uh, to start with, uh, mainly because we share the same vision. I read uh, when I arrived in Shanghai, I read the white paper that you uh, that you sent, um, building a, connect, a better connected world. I couldn't agree more with what you're saying. Um, we share that vision that a better connected world has a lot of benefits for the carers as well as for the public entities. So. Uh, Working with you has been easy with that, with, that same, uh, with that same vision. Now, on a daily basis, what we're trying to do is we're trying to cooperate, as well as we cooperate with other um, stakeholders, to make sure that we have a ready-to-use, a really plug-and-play offer for the carriers as well as for the municipalities. So we, we try to facilitate this, again, this rollout. So that's fantastic. In terms of having a good... Well, I think it's important first, you know, before g jumping into the challenges, to mention that what we've done over the last 18, 24 months is working. So we've deployed some projects, uh, including one in Amsterdam, which is quite large scale. And we know, we know it works. It, it works on the field. It's delivering performances. It's delivering customer satisfaction. It's improving the, uh, the, the, the use for the customers. So that's really, the, the customer experience is better with the solution we're deploying. So that's very important. Now, of course, it has to be tested on more markets. It has to be replicated and delivered across all the markets we're working on together. And the main challenges for this, I think, are really um, threefold. The first thing, quite importantly, is the economics. It's not, a, it's not a, a cheap solution. It requires significant investment, specifically in backhaul. And of course, given that the operators have different challenges, they are, uh, you know, obviously, be it in Europe, in the US, or in Asia, they, they're not facing the same situation with regards to their network, with regards to their uh, pricing power, et cetera. So it's not a one-size-fits-all conversation. So each market is different. Each market will have its own challenges, depending on you know, what the carriers are expecting. The second very important point, I think, and that's what we try at Jesse Deco to facilitate, is the relationship with the, the government and the regulators. As you said in your paper, they have to endorse this, uh, this evolution and they have to feel and clearly understand the benefits that they can get from the digital revolution. So we will be working hard to, uh, to demonstrate that, but obviously it will remain an important challenge. And the last one is the public acceptance. Obviously in some markets, not all of them, they, uh, the public safety considerations are quite important and we will need to deliver and show collectively as an industry how you know, this offer, again, brings more benefit than it has risk. And, and that's, a very key, uh, that's a very key challenge. But all in all, uh, working with you, working with a lot of different stakeholders, we're very confident that we're going to overcome uh, these challenges because we really feel that this is going in the right direction and that there will be a lot of benefits from building a better connected world.
Thank you very much. You're welcome.